there, my name is Lynette. Welcome and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're going to be taking you through another simple tutorial. Today's focus is going to be on land rent. So land rent is the annual fee charged by the government to proprietors who own leasehold properties. So land rent attracts a monthly penalty if not paid on time. Currently, it attracts a penalty of 1% per month on the principal amount. In order to pay for land rent on RD Sasa, you must have a registered account on the platform. So kindly follow the link above to learn about the individual registration process. Kindly log in. Once you do so, navigate to the Land Administration Services. So you can click on the Land Rent option on the Quick Links or you can click on the View More option to access the same service. After selecting the land rent option, there are two action buttons. So there's a get clearance certificate or pay land rent. So click on the pay land rent option. It will navigate you to a search page where you will key in the title number and search for your parcel to find out how much is owed to the government. Additionally, the system allows another user to pay on behalf of the landowner. Kindly note, conversion is actually not a prerequisite for the payment of land rent. Therefore, any leasehold title can be presented for payment of land rent. Upon searching for the parcel, you will get either of the following options or rather responses. So one, you will be informed that there are no pending land rents at the moment. Secondly, you will be notified that the rent request cannot be processed at the moment. In this case, you will be required to contact the ministry through the customer service center for further assistance. They will raise a ticket on your behalf under your account for follow-up on the same. Another response that you might receive is that a list of all the pending land rents will be displayed. This will be a list of rent owed since the last time rent was paid for this particular parcel. So for a case where a paid invoice still shows pending, you can raise the issue with the customer service center. They will raise a ticket on your behalf to be able to address the matter at hand. From the list of invoices provided, you can be able to click on the view invoice option to see the full details of the invoice inclusive of the penalties if any. To pay for a pending invoice, click on pay. The system will provide you with different payment options. Currently, you can pay via M-Pesa or Cooperative Bank. For M-Pesa, you have two options. You can either pay with M-Pesa or M-Pesa Express. So the M-Pesa option gives you the step-by-step -step on how to make your payment after which you can click on confirm to complete your payment. On the other hand, M-Pesa Express option allows you to key in the M-Pesa phone number you would like to use to make the payment. Once you do so, a pop-up will be presented on your mobile phone for you to key in your password. The system will automatically process your request upon successful verification of your payments. For Cooperative Bank, you will also have instructions on how to make your payment, after which you will click the Confirm button to verify the said payment. From the list of paid invoices, the system allows you to download either the receipt or your invoice for future reference. After clearing all of your pending invoices, you can download your Land Rent Clearance Certificate. To get your clearance certificate, navigate to the Land Administration Services. Click on Land Rent on the Quick Links or on the View More option. Click on the Get Clearance button on the top right corner. Key in the desired parcel. Once you do so, click on the Get button. If there are no pending invoices, the system will allow you to download the clearance certificate valid for the current year. So something for you to note, if the status of the invoice is dubbed confirmed, this simply means that someone else paid for the invoice. So this marks the end of our simple tutorial. Kindly like, share and subscribe for more informative videos. In case you have any inquiries, kindly do not hesitate to ask us in the comment section or better yet, you can contact our customer service center who are ready and willing to address any inquiries that you might have. Thank you.